What's kicking you all? Quick Panic here, and I'm back in gear, don't you? Have no fear. Today, I have some very cool Pokemon content to share with you guys. So, first off, I'd like to give a shout-out to Jules, who's done a magnificent job procuring very cool Pokemon content for me. Uh, basically, getting all these different packs and boxes, and this is something that I didn't know I needed in my life. So, if you don't know, I'm, I'm making a Living Dex of Pokemon cards. So, basically, collect one copy of each Pokemon that exists, find my favorite art for it, and add that to my collection. And in the end, I'll have a big old binder with uh, 807 Pokemon. So this has some very cool art in it, and just based off of what I've seen on the back. So this is a trainer startup video kind of thing, and it's like teaching you how to play the game. Um, sorry, let's see if we can get that. There's a little, that's just a little bit of glimpse that I saw um, when I was looking over these. I have not spoiled it. There are maybe three or four other people on YouTube who have opened this for the uh, for YouTube. Uh, but I wanted to open this and check out the very cool art with you guys. If like, just looking at the front, it's the old Ken Sugimori and you've heard me talk about Ken Sugimori 5,000 bajillion times if you've watched my po Pokemon content. But this is like the original art and I love it because it's not so old that it looks like the old red and blue version sprites. This is, uh, this is hand drawn art. And uh, I'm just going to open it up. You can see it has a VHS. If I can figure out a way to get that ripped, um, of course, without monetizing or anything, I would put it on the channel. Um, so I'm going to see if I can do that. If you have any recommendations as to how I might be able to do that, uh, I would be very appreciative if you'd leave that in the comment section down below. Hit me up because I'd like to share this with you guys. This is a, Poke this is, this is a piece of Pokemon history as far as I'm concerned. So here's the box and this has the cards in it. And here is the VHS. I haven't had a VHS. Hold on, let me see if I can take this out. Oh no. Is it is just glued to it now after being in here for 900 years? Like when was the last time you saw a VHS? This is actually taking a lot of strength to pull out. Oh my gosh. Uh, nothing special on it. So that's what the label looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in because I don't know if I'll be able to without damaging it, get it back in. But um, like I said, if you have any uh, idea how I might be able to get this onto YouTube uh, by using the VHS, please let me know. Here is the uh, the good stuff. This is what you guys are here for. This is what I'm here for. The, uh, the rest of it is all just a uh, nice little bonus. So I'm gonna see, oh, there we go. Opens nicely. Oh, I like the, look at this on the background. It has like the outlines. You got Dragonair. I'd love to see that art on a card. You have Zapdos. This art, this art for the silhouette of the Zapdos that you see there, is only available as a cell phone promo. Uh, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to pretend like I know what that is. I did a little bit of research, and it's, uh, it's basically a prize for a tournament. And I found the Articuno Moltres for sale for like two thousand. Uh, Zapdos sold for like three thousand. Okay, so here's a little bit of a uh, of the booklet. It basically shows you what everything means. Uh, looks like we have a Bulbasaur and a Squirtle deck, if you couldn't tell by the uh, front of this. So, ooh, look at the Ivasaur art and the Meowth art. Aha, this is going to be so cool. Um, and then we got the my favorite arts for Blastoise and Venusaur there in the back. Um, yeah, so uh, <laughs> before we get into this, if you like this kind of content, you like seeing me open up uh, cool Pokemon art that might not be might not be the newest and hippest thing. This is a lot of old school stuff that I prefer to open. Um, a lot of people on YouTube are calling it vintage openings, uh, whatever you want to call it. I like opening old stuff that makes me feel all nostalgic. Look, this comes with a mat, a two player play mat. Oh man, if I could get this turned into like a real mat. Oh man, I'd use that so fast. And there's Bulbasaur on the other side. Ah, that's great. Okay. Sorry, my dog's in the room. He's he's behind me making noise. I got like <laughs> the old school damage counters. These are actually smaller than the damage counters I remember. And then we have like the coin. Oh, it's a Chansey. That's a really nice Chansey coin. I like that. I'm adding that to my collection. Hopefully uh, Jules doesn't mind. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section down below, Jules, do you mind? <laughs> um, so it looks like we have the status counters in here. Oh, I can just pull this all out. All right, we got one deck right here. Apparently that's the Squirtle deck. I'm gonna just show it backwards. Um, and then Bulbasaur, who is the best starter. Um, and then we got, are these just 
death counters? These counters look like death counters. Look at this. Um, is it supposed to be poisoned because only poison exists? Or is this just like a status affliction kind of generic? Let me see if I can get that. To, there we go. It looks like uh, some dead uh, Goombas from Super Mario Bros. Okay, this this is very cool. I like this a lot. I'm going to put that back in here. Oh, I need an adult. Okay. Normally, I like to throw my trash behind me in a very uh, uh, ridiculous style. But today, I want to keep this stuff. So, we're going to flip this over. I don't know what's in here. Oh, I was kind of hoping. Jules kind of alluded it would have this. This is the coolest Blastoise, and uh, oh man, I'm so excited it's in here. These are called CD promos, I believe. At least that's what I search when I try to look for them on eBay. But that's Blastoise. I love how you can see the little bit of red there in his cannon. Like, oh, that's so cool. I love this art so much. So I'm gonna very gently put this over here. We got a really pensive Squirtle. I don't know what he's looking at. Uh, a Magmar. I've never seen the art for these cards, and I like the little symbol. It has a little squirtle over here. Got a magmar. Ooh, water energy. Bet you guys have never seen that one on my channel a million times. Here's another grumpy squirtle. I love the old art for these. Uh, we got a machop. Okay, I'm very familiar with that machop. He was broken back in the day. We got all sorts of energies in here. Arcanine! Look at that Arcanine! Oh, baby. Now that... That is some fire artwork. Ah, pun intended. Oh, look at that. Arcanine, man. Fire energy, water. We got all the energies in the world and a very happy Magnemite. Are the rest of these energy? Oh, there we go. Oh, look at Growlithe. Fun fact, back in the day, Growlithe was my favorite Pokemon for a very long time. But as soon as we got the 3D sprites for him, like an X and Y, I just could not stand the way he looked. So if, if we get some some cool Growlithe art, that'll make me very happy, very nostalgic. Reminds me of the old days. Look at Bill. Look at him. He's not drawing you two cards. That looks like some sort of Pokemon transfer. I know that's energy removal. We got another pensive Squirtle. Fighting energy. Another Squirtle. I want to see the War Turtle art. Oh, classic Jiggly. Ooh, I've never seen that Spearow before. It's not my favorite art of Spearow, but it's very cool um continuing on i'll move back a little bit there's the war turtle look it looks like he was like wiping out on a surfboard <laughs> very basic drawing uh we got the original polywag i've seen that card a thousand times in my life full heal water energy come on one more pokemon one more pokemon uh, another war turtle okay i'm not mad about that and a diglet <laughs> oh and the original Growlithe. That is such a cool set of cards. I don't feel like this deck would be practical by any means, but look at that Blastoise. Oh, Jules, please let me keep this. <laughs> oh man, okay, moving on. So if this follows suit, um, that means that we will have the CD promo for Venusaur in here. I have the English version, but I do not have the Japanese version. Oh, yes! This looks a little different, actually. Look, it's like he's in a flower field. Like the red hollow in the background is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, Venusaur, why are you such a pretty looking card? This, I don't think this is, this isn't the same one that I have. I don't think so. Oh, Venusaur will forever be my favorite. Oh, and I love this Pikachu art. This is my favorite Pikachu art too. Oh, that looks so good. I just love the original basicness. Like, it's not overly, like, kawaii. It's uh, oh, very cool. Very cool. <laughs> Look at this old coughing. Coughing. <laughs> Psychic energy. A Jinx. Back when Jinx's face was still black. They got in trouble for that. So now you'll notice that Jinx's face is purple. I've never seen that Jinx art before, for the record. <gasps> I do like this Bulbasaur a lot. Look. He is a running I like that, man. Bulbasaur is a sprinter, fun fact. I love that art. Oh, man, I can't wait to see the Ivysaur. <gasps> Look! Guys, I'm sorry. I'm very excited about this. This is so cool. Like, seeing Pokemon cards. When you've been playing Pokemon as long as I have, um, 1998, I think, 1997, whenever it came out here in the States, uh, Doduo, very original. Oh, look at this Bulbasaur! He has a Pokeball! Look at him! 
<laughs> this is like him back at Oak's lab when he doesn't get chosen because the antagonist is always going to choose Charmander and he's sitting there with his Pokeball. He's like, he chose Squirtle. Bet you, bet you wish you chose me now. Uh, Bulbasaur doesn't know that he's going to just choose Charmander instead. Uh, but uh, when you've played Pokemon as long as I have, it's very refreshing to see new card art. Like, look at this Electabuzz. He's super chibi looking. Looks very smug. <laughs> uh it's very refreshing to see new card art and i love doing stuff like this so you guys if you have any recommendations uh for old stuff that i should open or maybe even packs if they're kind of expensive you know i i will do my best to find them but i love seeing art like this old original art um so hit it up in the comment section down below look at me out it he definitely needs a back scratch look at that i hate water especially wet water <laughs> oh man oh there's the original chubby pikachu before he went on that diet before he went on jenny craig <laughs> uh lots of energies as usual um so what should we we should get one more pokemon at least right right i said right uh-oh uh-oh oh there we go look at this right <laughs> he's just chilling on that chair look He's like, I'm a pretty girl. <laughs> oh, that's a cute Raichu, man. That is beautiful. I love it. And we should have a drowsy, drowsy, drowsy. And another running Bulbasaur. That was so cool to open up with you guys. Oh my gosh, Jules. Thank you so much for uh, bringing this to the channel. Look at that Venusaur though. Oh, it is so pretty. Oh man, just... Hold on, hold on. These two worth it all in the end to me. I would love for them to do uh, Charizard and Blastoise in English, but unfortunately, they only did Venusaur, which I do have. I picked up the Japanese Charizard, so I now have the full set, which makes me super excited. Um, okay, guys. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed the content that I brought to you today. I'd love to find some more original stuff to open. I'm bringing pop. Funko Pop content to the channel as well. If you haven't seen that video, I have one. Uh, it was probably the last video I posted before this went up and uh, working on another video. So I appreciate all the support, guys. Like 1,600 followers, like subscriptions, sorry. Uh, I'm bouncing between Twitch and YouTube. Uh, is unreal. And I can't believe I made it this far with your support. I couldn't have done it. Without your support, I couldn't have done it. With your support, I couldn't have done it. That makes no sense. But uh Man, guys, thank you so much. If you wouldn't mind leaving a like down below. If you enjoyed the content, please, I'd really appreciate it. It lets me know that I'm doing a good job and it lets me know which content I should bring to the channel. Please subscribe if you've not already. I bring Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm just bringing all sorts of collectible stuff to the channel. Uh, some video game content for Yu-Gi-Oh! and hopefully Pokemon very soon. But check me out on Twitch if you've not. I stream Thursday through Sunday. The schedule is down below in the uh, description. So that is all I got for today. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Later!